The Israeli army says it's killed at least 90 Palestinians during an ongoing raid on Al Shifa Hospital in Gaza City. Explosions and gunfire are shaking areas around the complex. Israeli soldiers raided the hospital on Monday. They say they've interrogated more than 300 people and taken at least 160 back to Israel for further investigation. Gaza's health ministry says the situation inside the hospital is critical and hundreds of displaced civilians, patients and staff are trapped inside. Let's get the latest with Hamda Salhut, who is in occupied East Jerusalem force. Talk to us about the Israeli reactions to this continued raid on al-Shifa, Hamda. Uh, the death toll there is rising. That's right. The Israeli army says that they have arrested 300 Palestinians and at least 90 other Palestinians have been killed in this ongoing raid at Al Shifa Hospital. The Israeli army has released a statement this morning saying that they are continuing what they're calling a targeted and precise operation while trying to keep civilians out of harm's way to minimize damage to the facility. But we do know that people have been beaten, they have been arrested, among them journalists as well. People who are sheltering there say they are quite fearful of the ongoing raid. And look, there are also airstrikes happening within the vicinity as well. The Israeli army is stressing that Hamas is using the hospital for military means and purposes. This is the fourth time Al-Shifa has been raided. And you'll remember, most notably, back in November, the Israeli army had alleged that Hamas was using Al-Shifa as a command center for their military activity, their headquarters, for all of that type of military activity. But those claims were never brought to fruition. There was never any evidence brought to prove those claims brought forth by the Israeli army. And, and this is happening as there's growing international pressure, Hamda, on Israel for its operation in Gaza, for its planned operation on Rafah. Uh, what, what is the reaction from the Israeli government? Look, just in the last 24 hours alone, you've had mounting international pressure from some of Israel's biggest allies. You have Canada, Germany, the, and the United States, the United Kingdom as well. You have the Americans who say they are looking for the Israelis to send a delegation to Washington to discuss this pending ground invasion into Rafah, to which the Israelis have agreed to. Canada, who passed a non-binding resolution to halt sales of arms to Israel, and the Israelis have reacted to that. Israel's foreign minister saying that it's a shame and a disgrace and that it will prevent, quote, Israel's right to defend itself and that history will look back on this moment not fondly. But then you had Canada's foreign minister say, even though this was a non-binding measure, it is something that is real. Then the United Kingdom, the foreign secretary there saying that the goal should be to obtain not just a ceasefire for a pause in the fighting, but a sustainable ceasefire that will lead to something more permanent. So all of this pressure has been continuing to mount on Israel as they've been prosecuting a war that has seen the death of nearly 32,000 Palestinians. Hamda Salhoutin, Occupied East Jerusalem. Thank you for the update, Hamda.